Hello, hello, hello everybody, my name is Scuttles, and welcome back to some more exciting dinosaur news. I say that as if it's a series, but it's really not. But either way, welcome to some news. So a while back, there was a little VR experience known as Jurassic Tour, where you could actually go online and just do entirely free a VR sort of Jurassic Park tour style experience. It was absolutely incredible. You got to sit in a little car and just go through a park. It was pretty cool. It of course had some limitations seeing as it was all done through an internet sort of page. I don't actually know exactly how it works to be honest, but that's not really important to the story. Now what is important to the story however is that the developer that made that project has actually still been working on this sort of project in the meantime. I've actually been following it myself ever since we first played that experience here on the channel. Now obviously everybody here on this channel loves Jurassic Park. I mean after all that's what our entire channel is about. But due to copyright issues as well as this man just wanting to have his own creative freedom, he's actually decided to go off and turn this Jurassic Project into something else by the name of Prehistoric Domain. And now, as of just a few days ago, Prehistoric Domain has just released their alpha announcement trailer. Let's take a look. Pretty cool, right? So as you can see, it looks like we're gonna actually get some pretty exciting stuff in this upcoming little alpha. Furthermore, I've actually gone ahead and gotten into contact with the creator of this project and asked him if he had any details that he could share with us so that I could actually pass that information along to you guys. And here's what he had to say. So much like last time, the website is going to be the park and everything will be run directly from this browser. There's going to be absolutely nothing that you folks at home will have to install. Now the idea is to have a classic park with short attractions just like if you were to go to Disney. He says that he wants these little attractions to be contemplative and hopefully educational. And now the whole educational side of this I think is something that they're going to try and expand a little bit more later on. But as of now it's sort of I think in its bare bones form. I guess we'll have to find out when this game is released. But as of now I believe that's what the deal is. Once again, he does warn that there are going to be graphic limitations and everything like that because it does run in a browser, but they have tried to push the limits for this as far as they can, and it says that 3D development in the online web will evolve over time. It says that they have still made every single effort possible to make the dinosaurs as realistic as they could. And now it says that at open, there will be three different attractions that we can experience. It says there will be a flying giant show, which will last about five or so minutes. There will be a big Jaws experience, which I'm assuming is that giant Megalodon that we saw at the end of the trailer, also lasting about five minutes. And then last but not least, there will also be a night tour, the longest of the attractions, lasting 20 minutes. And if I had to take a guess, then I would assume that this night tour is going to be very similar to the actual Jurassic tour that we experienced in the past. But I guess there's only one way to know, and that's to just hop in and see what it actually has to offer. Now here's some very exciting news regarding this. It says that at open, it says that there will be eight species that we can encounter along our journeys. It says that there will be the T-Rex, Deinonychus, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, the Dilophosaurus, Pteranodon, Quetzalcoatlus, and the Megalodon. And even better, it says that there will also be new attractions opening as time goes on. And if you kind of want to get a sneak peek as to what's to come later on in the future, it says that you can actually go onto the website and look at the map to get a little teaser for what's actually to come. And those are all the details about the actual game experience itself. Now, how to actually do the game experience, here's the news that you're going to want to know. So as you might have noticed just there at the end of the trailer, this is going to be releasing to us on the 20th of February, which is coming up rather quickly, only 13 days away is the time that I'm saying this right now. And it says that this will be compatible with the PC and VR, and now whether that be the PC VR, the Quest, or even if you just want to use like a little Google Cardboard or something like that, you should be able to access it through all those different ways. 
And now for one last little thing. If you happen to be a member of his Discord, then you can see that there's actually a new section where he uploads these illustrations which are based off of in-game screenshots. So you can see that here's one with the Quetzalcoatlus and the birdcage for the Flying Giants experience. Here we can see someone sitting down in a cinema looking at some sort of short film about some dinosaurs or something like that. The next one here seems to be almost like that nighttime safari once again, except now we're at the raptor paddock, which could be very creepy at nighttime. Who knows how that would go? Here's another image of that Megalodon sort of aquarium type thing that we saw at the end of the trailer. And last but not least, here we can see the Brachiosaurus walking about in front of the tour vehicle. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to let you guys know about today. This was really more of just an informative video just to make you guys aware. I know that this is kind of a bit of a shorter video, but really all I was wanting to do was just to make you guys aware of this project in case you either A, didn't know that this project existed, or B, if you did know about Jurassic Tour, then I wanted to just remind you guys of it in case you had forgot about it or didn't realize that it was still undergoing even more development. Because this is a cool project and I would love for this guy to get all the supports that we can possibly give to him. Because he's making something really cool and exciting for all of us and he's not even charging for it which is super cool. So if you guys have the chance, go join his Discord, go visit the website, download the game, play it, do all that stuff. Or, excuse me, almost made a mistake there. You don't even have to download the game, you just get to go play it. How cool is that? So yeah, go show him some love, tell him Scuttle sent you. And then until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.